All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, and welcome back to the U.S. Champions Cup. This is a Friday tournament that's happening, and a lot of great players involved in this one. I think we have a winner's bracket round three match between spawning in the bottom right-hand location of Whirlwind. Your Pink Protoss player is currently up 1-0 in this best of three. He is Caliber. His opponent in the bottom left-hand location is the Teal Zerg player Cat. So if y'all are just tuning in, uh, earlier we were watching Nick as he progressed through the tournament. Unfortunately for him, he was knocked out in winner's bracket round three to Guitar Cheese. Congrats to him. So Nick is going to be falling down to the uh, the shadow bracket. I, yeah, that's I, called that. I like calling it the shadow bracket. It's not to, you know, offend anyone or... You know, just to stay as politically correct as possible. You Hold on, though. No. We got a cannon rush going on from Caliber. Caliber trying to take the quick 2-0 here, but Cats is on top of it, sending a lot of drones here to the natural expansion. Caliber really trying to make this work. And he's doing this against a teammate, which is interesting to me. And this might... Let's see. Maybe One he cannon. knows his teammate is weak against cannon rushes. Oh. You know what? Ooh. I bet it's one of those things. He plays Cats in practice, and he's like, oh, he's weak to cannon rushes, but yes. he doesn't tell him. Just for this moment. Ah, so he, this is one of the things that. But he apparently hides he's not that weak to counter rushes. Yeah, yeah, this, this won't work. I don't think. I, I mean, mean, he'll get maybe two drone kills, three maybe. Um, oh, know. nice micro. I and mean, Caliber's not focusing to hurt drones. There he goes. So a good amount of drones going to be killed here. Is that four? Um, but I mean, it's it's not worth it. Like, with how much he invested. Yeah, with how much uh, he invested, it's not. I mean, he killed he killed at most. Uh, like five there, a six, six. Six drones. But I mean, if you look at, uh, he has no nexus. Correct. Uh, and, and there's a hatchery in his. Yeah. <laughs> there's a hatchery. In and his the main problem base. is, is like, this is standard Starcraft, right? When you're on one base, it's so hard to afford to pull that many probes. The now he's got a nexus going up. The objective of Starcraft Two is to build stuff in your opponents. Well, that's what it looks like with these guys. At least on Root Gaming. You maybe. know what? You've been coaching Root, haven't you? I have. You've been you've been coaching them. They know my strategy. Yep. 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 So we had a we had a cannon rush attempt at gateways, pylons built in Katz's natural expansion, and of course Katz returning the favor, putting a hatchery inside his opponent's main base. So as I said before, Caliber is up 1-0 in this best of three. And again, the US Champions Cup is a tournament involving the best in the United States of America, the best uh, players, uh, the conditions you have to be living in the United States. So Polt is in this, the Muslim, I, th I think he was in this. I'm not. I, I'm not sure if he made his matches or whatever, but uh, he was slated to play. So, uh, a lot of great North American players, players uh, living in the United States, in this tournament. The winner of the whole thing will advance to New York City uh, here to play in the IEM New York City World Finals. Should be cool. So, best of luck to everyone involved. Of course, Caliber and Cats. We can talk about them a little bit. Caliber uh, has red hair. No, a lot of people don't know that. Doesn't he keep changing it or not? Oh, he, he does. He like makes it blue and I stuff. I saw him make it which blue cool. once. Yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it blue. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's really fun to talk to. Um, Caliber has been around. He's been on. Oh, what teams has he been on? Like there's. Light. He was on light. He was on Kiwi clones before that. Uh, Kiwi and clones and light were. A bit, I mean, it's the same. Yeah, thing. basically everyone went from Kiwi clones to light, yeah. and then from light he came straight to Root Gaming. Uh, one of the formidable Protoss players on the North American team of Root Gaming. You know, Caliber. There's Puck. There's Minigun. Um, TT1 Sage Sage Yu-Gi-Oh Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Well Oh did he Yeah we'll see Yu-Gi-Oh Is he Protoss? He's Zerg Oh yeah I was talking about Protoss Oh sorry yeah, My bad I was talking about Protoss I just heard Root um, Katz On the other hand Is a Zerg player He's kind of he, He's like the business guy Behind Root He he founded the, te the team He talks to sponsors you know, a lot of his day is making sure everything's coordinated. You know, he headed up that that fundraising uh, opportunity for Root there from the community, trying to raise funds for a pro house. And that fundraiser ended up being very, very successful. Uh, Root ended up getting a house in California, which is where they all are right now. And they're doing great things there. It seems like their players are getting better and better every day. They have players joining their team all the time. Illusion just joined. They definitely seem to. I mean, there's, there's a lot of great teams. In in the Americas, right? But it seems like Root typically has like three of the top four. You see, in, in every uh, there's TT one uh, in, in every top American event. It's usually like three Root guys and maybe like Hawk or something like that. Uh, wow, Caliber he likes building stuff outside of his base, doesn't he? He does. 
That's so we've got a problem here for cats. Yes. He's building a lot of spore crawlers. So he thinks Phoenix or Stargate, which is a logical assumption. Yeah. And um, there is a Stargate. But, but he never got a third and fourth gas. He only got one Phoenix. Uh, it's a total fake move. And he's hiding in all those gateways. Really cool. Wow. Really cool. So to explain that a little bit, Caliber went for the tech option with the Phoenix. The idea being he wants to sell that he is making a lot of Phoenix to send at cats. That's why cats build the spore crawlers. Yep. Also wants to sell that he's potentially going for a third base, which he's not. Instead, he's making five warp gates at the top of the map, and he only made one Phoenix, so he only really spent... You know, he didn't spend a lot of money investing into the Stargate. Wait, does he really only have six gates? He's got two more as well, right? He's got more... One, two... He's got to have at least seven gates. Two... Yeah, five plus two, seven. So it's going to be a seven gate. And he didn't go eight gates. Look at these pylons. He's on anyway, so why not go eight gates? So Katz is just now discovering what's happening here. Well, I guess if he kills the third base... All right, here we come. Some roaches are out here for Katz. Units tab shows six roaches on the field, two zerglings against five stalkers, six zealots, and there's two more stalkers and two more zealots. So Caliber pressing forward hard. Great force field there. Force field's behind those roaches, and Katz is going to have trouble dealing with this. Y yeah, he is. He does have roach speed on the way. I th I don't think he should have tried to defend his third base, but he may be able to do it. He has a lot of roaches being produced, actually. And once speed finishes, they can kite the zealots easily and run down to soccer. There's no more force fields, but there's still seven gates of reinforcements, and I, I don't think Katz can save the third base. Uh, and he's lost so many roaches, he might have a hard time holding his natural against this. Yeah, the third is going to be gone. And it's this is the thing where Caliber is going to get so many Protoss units on the field. What can Katz really make to deal with it? He's going to try to mass the roach. He's going to try to mass the lings, but without any upgrades, without any additional tech, it's still going to be very difficult considering... Caliber is investing everything into two bases and attacking strong with these stalkers. However, some stalkers are falling. Cat's getting a lot of units on the field here. You know, and he's not doing a terrible job. I really like how he engaged w right when the hatchery died. So he had all those broodings to support him, and those broodings Ooh. help out a lot. Yes. Um, it's basically eight more zerglings in the battle that are for free, right? Uh, from that hatchery. So or maybe it's, it's six or something like that. Wow. Either way, and the thing is, is Caliber he had to actually do more than well. There's so few drones. See, so Caliber actually has economic advantage, but with Roach speed on the way, Cat's army is going to be dominant, or it's already done, excuse me. It's going to be dominant for such a long time. Uh, oh. He could maybe just actually end this with a counter even. There's, there's no okay. cannon there's, yet. There's no sentry There's no, yet. yeah. This could be, I mean, of course, he's been on two gas the whole time. There's There'll a be a lot of stalkers. Yeah, Caliber yeah. going to GG, and Cat's is going to equalize the series 1-1, defending that, that two base all in. What went so right for Cat's there, and what went wrong for Caliber in that, well, in that the last minutes there. Caliber cannon rush and didn't work, so he was super, super far behind from the start. Right. Um, he did get yes, enough drone kills true. that it wasn't instantly game over, but it was still he was really, really, really far behind. Yeah. Um, then he faked cats out. Cats built a bunch of spore crawlers. That, that, was a, I, that was a great idea. Yeah, it was a great fake out. Super Plus, cats took a really bad engagement right initial part of that push, and he lost like a, two queens and like four roaches for nothing. Right. Just up the bat because Force he thought he could, yeah. Super Force good. fields are good and Katz thought he could engage there and it was, it was a mistake from him to actually uh, not sack the third fast. But it was still just, I mean, he was already at layer attack. Roach speed is being finished and speed roaches against basic gateway units. It's pretty ugly for them. With no blink, not even a yeah, forge upgrade or anything. Yeah, I didn't see the, the roach yeah. speed. I guess I missed that. I saw, I saw the metabolic boost speed. I guess it must have just finished. It was actually it. before the metabolic boost. Oh. He didn't get any speed until he already Got started it. roach okay, speed. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. So, well played there from Katz. He's going to equalize Series 1-1. Now, this is the, I think this is the third round of the IEM US Champions Cup. So, these guys still have a long way to go, but they're now tied 1-1. One one. So, we're going to be going to the deciding Game 3, where the winner will move on to the next round. Round 4, I see that right there, to play against QXC. We might get into that. Start letting us know in the chat if that's what you want to see, the winner of Cats and Caliber versus QXC. Other options as I read through some names. Guitar Cheese, Illusion I see. I see Pult is going to be playing Fog. against Broski Quantic Figure. Fog, Fog yeah. is there as well. Huck versus Illusion might happen. Uh, Huck is playing against Louis Armstrong. So, again, guys, plenty of more awesome games coming your way here from the U.S. Champions Cup. I'm Axel Toss, joined by Axel. We'll be back with more StarCraft II after quick break. After quick break.